Hello there, it's me, Rama, and this is my multi-threading UE5 C++ tutorial where you can actually, where we will together, calculate the first 50,000 prime numbers and I'm sure you're probably thinking of something a little more interesting for your use case for multi-threading, but that's what this giant while loop does. It takes a really long time to complete, but you can keep playing the game while that long while loop is running. So let's go in game and this thread will start shortly. It'll start calculating all these numbers. All right. So those are all prime numbers. And while that's running, just to demonstrate that the game thread has not stopped, First we have to blow these up. <laughs> but now, I'm, oh, and this one too. But now that that's done, I actually wanted to show you a fun little toy I made, which is this giant torus, kind of the signature piece of my UE5 world that I'm making for all my different tutorials. which uses procedural mesh component but I'm gonna change these settings let's see I wanna make the span 5,000 okay so note that while the game continues to run all that that giant while loop is doing its thing let's make this a little okay that got more intense than I was thinking <laughs> all right so let's what about this interesting I'm just goofing while uh, the, the calculation is going on but this is your living proof this is your video proof that the oops sorry I don't know where she went um, that's this is your proof that the thread is doing its job because I can still move around in game in my fun little demonstration here All right. and hey we're done I'm actually not done with this thing <laughs> <laughs> and it's gonna have to wait. Start. I just saw these pulsing spirals. So, two minute hitch. It, that's how long it would have been if that had not been done on its own thread. Now, a thread should be used for something that is all game long, not just a two minute calculation. That's. This is just a demonstration. So, all the code is available to you. This whole project is available to you and you can pick apart how I did everything and I'll explain it all in depth, all the C++ in a different video but I just wanted to demonstrate as you can see the game never hitched. I want to demonstrate one other thing too which is, so that's a two minute while loop, right? So let's say you start your other thread calculation and you realize you need to exit, right? Like for example, I just want to exit back into the level editor notice that I was able to stop the thread even though it was inside a while loop because inside this while loop I check constantly whether or not the user is attempting to exit so during tick if there's a pause then exit right so this is the while loop this this will take two minutes to complete a single code block but I'm checking, has the user paused the thread? Is there an attempt to stop? If so, exit instantly. And so in end play of the actor that runs the other thread, when end play occurs, I shut down the thread. Shutting down the thread triggers the pausing, right? Stop triggers pause. And that's what allows Pi to exit sooner than two minutes pi you know play an editor <laughs> ue4 lingo you now hopefully still true in ue5 so that is why i was able to exit so quickly even though it takes two minutes to complete so i'll explain it all in greater depth 
in a future video, but you have the code, and you have the project, you have the plugin, you have everything. It comes as a, I created a plugin for everything. So I'm going to head over here now to the Rama code plugin. It's inside of a section appropriately named multi-thread. Here's where all the files are. And then you can play with it yourself and run it. The whole project will run as soon as you enter the... It's not enabled by default, I don't think. So if you're not sure how to make it go, <laughs> it's right here, Rama code multi-thread actor and then uh, it's just off of begin play and then inside of the blueprint I start everything so there's actually a little bit more to explain regarding the blueprint side of things just an easy synergy to do a little bit of both so there's an update timer that I check every 0.1 seconds for any new data coming off of the thread now the data from the thread is inside of a circular queue. The reason for the circular queue is because the you can't read and write to something at the same time, right? When you're going across threads very easily. So the circular queue allows you to do that. And so the thread end queues put stuff in and then you dequeue from the so here's the end queue. This is on the thread inside the while loop, end queuing, and then you dequeue over here on the game thread. This is a check from the game thread, and then I gather all the results that have come off of the thread, and the blueprint side is over here, where, and I am emphasizing this removes it from the queues. When you check, when this code checks, it's taking it out of the queue, and storing it and then I'm displaying it and that's what you saw okay so I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration hope you like my new UE5 world you're gonna be seeing lots more of this place as time goes on <laughs> enjoy <laughs>